More Series 10 news. So, there's a quote from Stephen Moffat that's been doing the rounds recently that was first sent to me by someone called Maybe Matt. Which, while I'm here, I do really appreciate people sending me this stuff, because I'm not online that much and a lot of news tends to pass me by. We're going back to more singles in Season 10. Two-parters worked brilliantly last year, but somehow with the new companion, you want the simpler version of the show. Obviously here my eyes were drawn to the word simpler, and I'm interested to know what he means by that, and I'd also like to know how there being a new companion leads to the conclusion that the show must be simpler. Like, is it just me who thinks that that conclusion really doesn't follow from that premise at all? Like, Memento is a complicated movie, but should it have been simpler because Leonard's a new character that has never been in it before minute one of the runtime? Like, fucking, just... <sighs> fuck, story! Hey, Barry Letts, it is a new Doctor and Assistant's first series, you know. Do you really think that these massive seven-part stories dealing with genocide politics, new energy resources and alternate history are a good idea? Couldn't we just have, like... I don't know, the Doctor waving his sonic screwdriver at the monsters and then they fall over dead. I mean, come on, they are new characters here. Hey, Mr Ford Coppola, these are all new characters that have never been in the Godfather movies before. You really think it's a good idea to make a three-hour-long movie? Anyway, so a common argument I was making around season six and seven is that the show should be simplifying, but I only really meant that in the way that its story arcs were getting way too big, messy and hard to follow and to keep giving a shit about, as it was starting to feel like homework as you had too much shit on the screen to follow as everyone was telling me, be patient, Stuart. I'm sure he'll explain that random throwaway line from 12 episodes ago eventually. I guess what I mean by simpler is in terms of structure rather than storytelling. Blink is really simply structured, but it's clever in its simplicity. Essentially, it's a story where Sally Sparrow is introduced to some bizarre and strange things, she chips away at it over the course of the runtime, and every piece of it comes away very easily to form the conclusion. And every step of the story was a natural progression from the last and made sense. And when stuff got revealed to be connected to what you saw earlier, you felt satisfied that it offered you some explanations. Blink would never work nearly as well if it didn't offer you that explanation until 12 episodes later, by which point it's thrown in 20 more elements to follow that no bastard could tie up in a satisfying way in a 45-minute finale. A two-parter is supposed to be a bigger story than a one-parter, with lots of stakes, and a longer runtime allows it to be a more complicated and epic story, but if it's still got a recognisable beginning, middle and end with characters that you give a shit about, and a decent amount of stakes and interesting themes, I really don't see why removing two-parters makes the show simpler, rather than just making the story smaller. I mean, I'm guessing it's just his choice of words that allows me to freely interpret it and get another video out of Series 10 news, which it almost certainly is. I mean, Seasons 8 and 9 were incredibly simplistic in my opinion. They've been so utterly reliant on formula storytelling in recent times that I really don't know how you could possibly have a simpler version than what we've already got. Random Alien Wants World. Doctor stops him slash her. Companion says something... Uh, feisty pretentious monologue. The thing about humans is that they are like, um, th th they're like blocks of cheese that have been left out of the fridge or something. Lady with a weird timeline thing. Doctor sets companions course from childhood. Really fucking obvious themes that the characters just out and out say to the camera. Fan service and continuity dumping all over the place. Doctor and assistant run away from Daleks down a corridor. Doctor does explainy bits. Assistant makes a joke. You will be exterminated. Dalek shoots a thing and then it explodes. I mean, yes, all stories are formula in some way, just the process behind the assembly of Doctor Who in recent times, if anything, is incredibly simplistic. Hell, you could say that two-parters are much simpler to make because you've essentially filled two time slots with the same set and actors. And that'd be cheaper to make, wouldn't it? The Beeb's working with a vastly restricted budget at the moment. I don't know, just simpler can mean a fucking myriad of things. If he'd said he wanted smaller stories to allow the companion a chance to try out lots of different types of stories in her opening season, that might be what he means by this, and I can kinda see the thinking behind that, but then I wouldn't have been able to be a nitpicking twat for an entire video.
Coming next time, He Who Moans makes a 20 minute long video about a misplaced semicolon. Fuck it, if you want a simpler version of Doctor Who, let's make a fan film right now. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man in a spaceship called Doctor, and he travelled around time and space with another person who, um... The person... The person usually has, like, hair and eyes and things. Anyway, so one day they landed on a planet where a bunch of weird purple blob monster things were all sad because the evil, um... Triangle-shaped things have enslaved their people. And the Doctor said... That is very mean of them to do. How dare the triangles do that? Come, assistant... hair person. Let's defeat them. And the doctor and assistant hair person ran around some corridors. And then they kept running around some corridors. And then they ran around some corridors some more. And then they reached the triangle's lair and the music got all serious. Du -du -du -dum. Du -du -dum -dum. Dum, 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 dum. Triangles, screamed the doctor. I demand that you release the purple blob monster things. No, said the triangles. Oh, said the doctor. Oh, I see. Um, but what you don't realize is that blah, 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 blah. And he raised his sonic screwdriver and the music got all epic. Oh, no said the triangles. Bye-bye. And he used his sonic screwdriver to... mal... somethingify the nuptial matrix. And the triangles were defeated, and they left the planet. Hooray! said the blob monsters. Thank you, Doctor. We love you! Yes, said the Doctor. But I'm not sure if I love you, because I am a deep and complex character who has strange and difficult to understand emotion things. Oh dear, said assistant hair person. That sounds complicated. Quickly, let's go back inside the TARDIS before people start thinking. That's a good idea, said the doctor. <coughs>